Hello. The lighting is not the most flattering at this angle. Hold on. Hi friends, long time no chat. Let me, now that I got it tested, go get a blanket. <sighs> what a whirlwind the past few weeks have been. Um, I'm sitting here waiting for some footage um, that I filmed today to upload. <laughs> my husband and I are expecting another baby. <laughs> And it, if you missed the announcement on my Instagram, definitely go check it out. I, the gender reveal will be up on Wednesday. Um, it, I, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. I filmed the chattiest video for Thursday on my main channel. Um, my new video days are Thursdays and Sundays. So <laughs> basically this pregnancy was a complete surprise and it feels so weird to even still say it out loud. Like we've known about this pregnancy since December 1st. We found out really early. I was three weeks and four days pregnant. Um, and it honestly like still feels odd to me because from what I remember of pregnancy is a huge belly with a, a big baby in there that's moving and stuff. And so to start from square one and not have that, it's odd, but my belly's already really big. I'll have to show you guys. I have some clips I've been taking throughout my first trimester. Um, and I, uh, eventually we'll share like the footage of us finding out that we like what our baby is um we did a sneak peek gender reveal like the home blood test that you can do at like six or eight weeks um it's not like backed by doctors or anything i don't believe but basically you do the test at home you send it off to a lab they search for a y chromosome if there is a y present obviously that means that there's a boy if there's not one it means it's a girl um it doesn't tell you you know whether you're having one or two or anything but we did that it said like what the baby's gender was. And then yesterday, actually the 22nd, Sunday the 22nd was when we got the results back from our doctor. Baby does not have any of the trisomies, which is a huge weight lifted off of our shoulders. We, um, you know, just always wanna make sure everything's good with the baby. And um, we also found out that what the sneak peek gender reveal said the baby was, is what the baby is. So we're very excited. Um, it feels so odd to just like say we're pregnant again. This being a surprise pregnancy, I think that's why. It's just like we have a nine month old and never life did I think that I would be someone who one would have, you know, a surprise pregnancy, but two, especially cause it did take us five months to make Ezra, which isn't long. You know, it was five months of planned cycle tracking and time I'm dinner course and like for this baby to just come out of nowhere I never thought that would be us um but also like I never pictured having a 16 month old and a newborn so that is what we will be doing um I'll show you guys look at that sweet little baby I'm gonna be honest so I love our doctor I guess you see all the doctors at the clinic when you're pregnant. Um, I love my doctor specifically. I really hope she gets to deliver this baby. Um, we like all the nurses. We had, like we got lucky and had one ultrasound tech throughout our entire pregnancy. We only had like two or three ultrasounds with Ezra and she was always so great. Like she would pause the screen and let you really like take it in and she'd be like, look a baby. And like the first ultrasound we came home, I wanna say we came home with like six ultrasounds um, with Ezra and this ultrasound tech was like, oh, yep, there's your babe. Look, she gave us two pictures that were identical. Um, and then she moved on. Like we barely saw the baby for like 15 seconds and then she was getting her other pictures. Um, and I said, you know, can you tell me which side the baby was conceived from? And she was like, I think it's the left. I can't find your right ovary. And just kind of like went on about it. And I was like, well, I've never heard that before. Like <laughs> my ovaries didn't just get up and walk away. And she was like, yep, it's fine. And she just like kind of kept, just moved on. And I was like that, I don't know. It was just that first appointment is so big and you like get so anxious and you look so forward to it. So to only have seen the baby for seriously 15 seconds. And then she completely moved on. Like she didn't have the uh, like wand, you know, where you could see the baby or anything. She was like looking at my ovaries, at least the one she could find and all the other stuff. And then she was like, all right, here you go. And she just handed us two pictures. So we decided to do a elective ultrasound and the baby. So at our first ultrasound appointment, I was 
eight weeks and two days. Baby was measuring eight weeks and four days. At this elective ultrasound, I was 10 weeks and two days and she measured the baby three times and the baby is measuring 11 weeks and one day. <laughs> so I'm 11 weeks and one day now and the baby is probably measuring about 12 weeks. So we got so many pictures, um, saw the heartbeat, you know, got a couple 3D. Of course, the baby still looks like a little bean at this point, but look at that. We have a little baby. So that's kind of why we've been MIA. Um, Ezra got sick. Literally the day we found out, Ezra was very sick, woke up. We weren't sure if it was RSV. I had a gut feeling it wasn't RSV, but I wanted to make sure. Um, mainly because he was struggling to breathe just because of the congestion. So it wasn't like anything else. So we once we found out we were pregnant and i kind of talked about this on instagram but i also am sharing a little bit more in depth about it on my uh video on thursday we really because it was such a surprise and ezra was sick i don't think that sam and i like genuinely accepted that this pregnancy was real we were just kind of like so excited we had footage of us finding out you know that was on my instagram we were so excited but it was like as soon as it was over as soon as we realized we were pregnant we were just like okay but we have a sick baby and we got we were going back and forth with the pediatrician and i was like i need to go get more pregnancy tests like i need to go buy my pro my pro prenatal probiotics because those helped me a lot with nausea with ezra and my head my head just like couldn't sit and like relish in the moment for a couple days and so after we found out Ezra didn't have RSV we knew he was good that's when I think it was like okay I've now had three days of consistent positive getting darker pregnancy tests um, Ezra's doing a little bit better um, I woke up sick the day we found out but I was definitely feeling a lot better so I think it just took some time before we were like real this is exciting and so we told my parents first and then we actually told our friends second we it was like literally december 1st and um we knew we had like all this christmas stuff coming up so we ended up telling our friends at our christmas party on the 22nd and then i saw all of my like my siblings um on the 25th yeah the 25th and so we told them that day and we ended up not seeing sam's family for christmas because they had rona so, or one of them had Rona. And so we weren't even gonna chance it with um, Ezra. Like, even though the other ones like didn't show signs or anything, we were just like, nope, we're good. So um, we told them like over the phone. So it's been interesting. I'll have to show you all my bump. It is there. And I remember sending my mom a picture right after we found out, um, or right after we told her, I wanna say I was like, maybe like six weeks actually. So it'd been a while. And I sent her a picture and I was like, mom, what is this? Like. The baby at that point was the size of like a blueberry or something. And she was like, honey, you have to realize literally people have had a whole ass pregnancy still not over. Maybe it wasn't my mom that said this. Maybe it was one of my friends. But she was basically like, there's been a whole ass pregnancy that someone has had that's like they got pregnant before you finished being pregnant with Ezra and they're still not done with their pregnancy. Like there was only seven months in between pregnancies. So I, you know, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So my uterus was like, I got this. So. I probably look now, if you go back and see any photos, I look at 11 weeks in one day. Again, baby's measuring big, 12 weeks. So um, although we know the day that the baby was conceived, so we are keeping the 11 weeks in one day. I would say I probably look like what I looked like at like 19 weeks with Ezra. My belly hasn't gotten any bigger. It was like it just popped out and then just kind of stayed that way. But I look so pregnant. So um, I have some work stuff I have to do today, but I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up here. It's been crazy. Um, having a nine month old who's getting into everything. He's at such a fun stage. Like I feel like the timing is so perfect because right now I'm looking at him and I'm like, oh my God, this is literally the best stage of all time. Um, I love having a baby that's nine months old. I was like, this is just so, now I feel like I can really get excited. And there'll be some times I'm like, what did we do? Like when he was sick, I was, and we found out we were pregnant. I was like, what the heck just happened? Yeah, we feel very blessed, overwhelmed. I'll be 30 weeks pregnant when we're moving, all the things, but we're grateful, we're excited. I um, just kind of wanted to update you guys. So I will show you a little bump photo video here and then I really gotta get back to work because now that you guys know I'm pregnant, I can resume work 
normal. That's why we decided to tell you guys at 11 weeks because my work was getting impacted and I'm not able to do like try on hauls and stuff um, like I was before. But also I hate the idea that women are expected to wait till 14 weeks. I'm kind of seeing this new wave of women sharing their pregnancies really early. And I love that. Like usually right around first ultrasound. And I love that because you're essentially saying when you tell a woman like you shared your pregnancy too early, you're essentially saying if something was to happen to your baby, you really should be going through that behind closed doors and not publicly. And that ain't right. Babies deserve to be celebrated. Um, even the sweet angel babies that sadly don't make it earth side. And so that's why we were like, you know what? We're not scared to share at 11 weeks because we of course hope that nothing happens and we don't believe that it will, but we would share if something did. So, um, yeah, I'm loving this new sharing the baby as soon as you feel comfortable, which is, you know, for us, we've seen the baby twice growing perfectly. So we were very confident about it. So I'm just rambling now. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm having another baby. Mm. <laughs> I literally just sit around and make messes all day and then clean them up at like 4 p.m. All right, so again, literally seven months between these pregnancies. And this is where we're at. <laughs> so I also did not have my core strength back after Ezra. So like, it's not shapely, I'd say, at least not right now after I eat some food later, it will be. Um, I did not have my core strength back after Ezra. Like I fit in my pre-pregnancy jeans and everything, but my core muscles were tight when I got pregnant with Ezra. So for this time, you know, to have this kind of like, just show up. I mean, it's crazy, but I am, let's see, 11 weeks and one day. Um, when I'm filming this, it's Monday the 23rd. So grateful, so excited. Um, I just got a notification that actually the baby's um, name blanket for the hospital showed up. And I, that's like the one thing I, I like have to buy instantly. So I'm gonna go grab it out of the mailbox. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. See you next time when I'm probably gonna be bigger already.